Today I really felt that this game or breakpoint precisely holding so much of a vast areas, uh, mountains, landscape, uh, particularly landscapes like mountains, forest areas, and many more regions which really remains barren. Certainly at this point, if you look at it, I know you guys are uh, developing some more new uh, interesting games uh, maybe better than this or maybe not better than this so uh, right now I just had one thing to say about this game in particular or any other future games which you guys are thinking about having, having been playing this breakpoint from last couple of months I understood that uh, suddenly feel that it's very limited in a way that it offers a player to uh, bring out a player's play style which is it is limited with certain uh, episode missions episode 1, 2 and 3 and right after that a player does not have much to do with the in-game, uh, you know, gameplay possibilities. Apart from that, uh, you guys brought in the Motherland mission, which is also uh, definitely developed into a certain amount of zones. Once, once it is conquered, it is done. There is nothing much more left to do. Besides that, the classic missions. Uh, we have faction missions as usual which if the uh, player wants he or she just can uh, skip it or can just ignore it without doing it so the mission remains monotonous you guys could uh, ponder upon or think upon more like more like missions which can uh, help the players uh, you know hook in or get remain connected to the gameplay and by that what I mean is rather than giving like the regular missions why don't you guys think about more like uh, creating more player to player basis of a challenge challenge based uh, gameplays I'm not talking about the ghost war typical ghost war where you get uh, options to play with 4x4 four four players, 4 on A team, 4 on B team. That's not what I mean. I mean, we could at least have more larger team. Yeah, we could have more larger team in this game because when you when you open the map, the, 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 the amount of the particular size of this in-game map, it, 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 it is so huge. It is so huge. It is so huge. Counting it from the north to south, it is, it is, it is really huge. You could, you could give us uh, something like you could divide this particular map into 50 by 50 region, 50 by 50 region, and 50 players would start from south, 50 players starting from the north. This could be the concept. This could be the concept. But mind you, uh, I'm not. Portraying, I'm not asking to portray it more like a battle uh, battle royal type scenario. You could rather uh, give us more like a kind of tactical player to player basis operations, which we can do it by, uh, from our way of play styles. Like the way right now in this game, we have enemies, AI enemies, which holds the bases, patrols the areas. Something like that. So in that scenario, if, if this very uh, map and resources and the terrain that you guys have given us right now in this particular uh, game, if it could be used in that way, it would really uh, be more fun and it could it could really uh, create some new taste within the old uh, you know textures which you guys already have and the resources. 
this resource like this very character movements and then the guns and then the uh, costumes the very kind of uh, look at it look at it how majestic it is the, the terrains are really vast and we could really do some some serious op right here in this game if we play play it with real players like with real players i really don't know the technicalities the challenge part of the uh, technicalities in the uh, team when we are uh, supposed to create more new things uh, into an already existing game but i do certainly believe if, if you guys could really work upon uh, this idea which i'm highlighting dividing the map the entire map into 50 by 50 region giving us uh, the kind of choice uh, we could uh, opt on like holding on a particular territory and one team pushes the other team and flushes out and whosoever the uh, team uh, uh, you know inflicts or causes the most uh, better damage and uh, can um, defeat would be the winner or something like that right like the very concept the very uh, minimalistic concept which you guys have applied in the ghost war i think i think if enlarged on a broader perspective it could be created in in for much larger group of players as well giving more uh, vast areas of uh, Uh, terrains to explore while uh, playing the particular uh, mode killing all other unnecessary things why not uh, ponder upon this very idea or why 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 you guys haven't ever thought about it it, it, it could really be brought into reality there are many many regions many provinces where, where there are dense and thick uh, forests where uh, we could really create some uh, some serious tactical based uh, gameplays but not against the ai enemies not against the regular ai enemies if only we could do the uh, gameplay against a real player itself it would have been much better much fun and much more uh, you know realistic and then uh, we could really uh, stick around it for a longer period of time uh, and not forgetting to mention that uh, despite having many 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 games in the market uh, in, in the similar way or at least uh, 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 some way uh, same kind of ideas which i'm suggesting but precisely that is not exactly what i suggest not, i'm not suggesting the typical battle royale or i'm not suggesting the battlefield type of play styles but given the uh, kind of suggestions or ideas i had in my mind if you guys really could uh, work upon it uh, this you know, forum of uh, uh, ubisoft tom clancy uh, forums and platform would really have its own distinct uh, feature of offering a, 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 an, an online based uh, real player to player past experience experience for uh, for in reality in the game i hope you guys uh, could understand what i'm saying Just, uh, after a certain point of time no matter how many new missions how many episodes or whatsoever uh, conquest mode you guys uh, have thought to bring in or push in after a certain point of time it, it gets really monotone just look at this uh, ai characters the kind of uh, uh, body stands it is holding right now it, it, it's soon. really 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 you really think somebody's annoying, coming but personally i don't like limited. that you're it, going it's up against limit. when we are already playing an online uh, based platform game we should be able to have more yeah. customizable Come over here. Give you some action. Place. Hope they get scale so, out soon. I'm just possibly, if not uh, wrong, I'm going to be pushed away from we get to kill him. enemies, hostile enemies. It's not that cold. Don't be a punk. Targets, I mean, hostile targets. 
but despite of that yeah they don't it's the sound of my nuts reason able to uh, I thought islands were supposed me. to be warm they can't uh hear my the wolves uh, will nab skell any minute now i'm just glad the wolves movement. are on our side ah! hey hey this is this is what i uh sometimes feel uh very limited in in, in my senses when I start shooting uh, one of their guys when they are in such a position, only then they are or their attention gets turned towards me immediately. So, anyway, if even if you guys bring on more changes and new things for that, it is going to remain the same monotonous uh, kind of a way. So, basically, uh, Rather than rather than uh, keeping on giving us the same old cliche missions, I think if you guys could uh, give a brainstorming on creating something uh, new within this game itself, like removing all the unnecessary um, stuff, all those things, like precisely if you look at it, you guys have given us an option to switch our modes like we can switch to conquest mode okay and we can switch back to the story mode so why not give us an option where we can uh, particularly uh, switch to such option where we we could uh, go against uh, real players to real players i'm not i'm not asking for ghost war it, it already has a section where you can go for ghost war but because of the limitations here we do we do have limited players who, who are online so this is this has also become a very nominal kind of a you know a playable option in this game so giving us a different sort of total experience within this very game i know this is not going to go very soon this game is not going to go out very soon we're just asking for something which could be made possible i don't think it is going to be difficult because i see here you guys have read, um, already made some uh, tremendous and applaudable um, terrains and uh, places around all these regions i really love them because they really offer that uh, that that kind of terrains and environments in particularly which a tactical based uh, shooter experience should be uh, should have and having this game uh, a third person perspective uh, game I think that option would really change the dynamics of the game I, I certainly feel because uh, a player would have uh, its own uh, option to use the very specific kind of a playstyle while going against uh, real enemies which I mean the player itself right so that could be a really uh, interesting as well as a really good thing which could uh, bring on more players attracting back towards this game also just beside that I would like to highlight one more thing the scope which you use in this game I see no actual differences while I am switching to the uh, to the scope and if I switch back to my uh, usual sights or I would say the character vision that, that remains the same however when you look at uh, many other games of this era or of, of this particular era be it 2019, 2021 they really ha have done some you know tremendous work done in their uh, magnifiers the particular scopes because uh, if you uh, go through and check out scopes in actual life it does create some variations from the way you look it from a character's vision and then the uh, from the scopes itself so this two particular feedbacks comes in in my in my mind one is highlighting back that uh, 
rather than uh, the usual uh, regular faction based missions or an episode based missions or some story based missions you guys could just give us uh, the same uh, you know heater based uh, option to play this game in all the terrains which you already gave us but uh, again real players not like ghost war where the area remains limited with limited number of players limited number of features not that given the same features same customization same all everything why can't we just go against real players in a vast numbers right i'm not i'm not quoting here the battle royale type games which pushes you against the uh, other team after a certain amount of time but we could at least uh, you know utilize this entire map in such a way the way uh, the normal the ai enemies right now does the patrols does the um, flying of the choppers holds a certain number of faces the roles for an enemy team would remain the same right and the uh, the liberator team they could just uh, choose their sides or randomly i i think randomly it would be better randomly anytime the um, sides of the uh, map could be switched the enemies could be spawning on the left on the northern side or the southern side given given depending upon the situation or the kind of mechanics you guys design but i think we could have that kind of mechanism gameplay mechanism in this particular in this very game itself beside any other new games if you guys could bring in bring that in in this particular game it would be really fun for now i would i, I would like to speak only this much i hope if the, if this is uh, something uh, sensible enough or worth uh, considering as an idea i certainly feel that that is worth considering enough with the, and and also uh, i feel it's not something i have in my own mind right now i'm scrolling some of the old chats uh, here i could make, make you see uh, a few while ago when i was are doing the same chit chat with my team they really um, agreed on this thing that uh, it would be fun to play so you guys should think about it because this is all these days new gaming platforms are offering more into it yeah they do have their own set of storylines and whatever they want to make us here too but beside that <laughs> developing a huge amount of uh, game and just all the rain giving us the characters and the customization options we really want to blend in more into this very game in a way and yeah you guys could bring in more of a purchasable items as well in this particular game like be it the outfits be it the uh scopes i'd say yeah the attachments could also be purchased uh, let alone the skins because the skins is not going to anyway uh, give us that amount of desire to afflictions or whatever afflictions we might not have that huge amount of affliction for skins uh, with the given options with the given amount of uh, colors and whatever it is we, we can customize it by our own self but beside that scopes and other uh, certain attachments could really be handy which could be uh, given an option to purchase for us and uh, yeah i see several more limitations in the customizations as you see right now in this particular location where i am this all terrain this all uh, certain environment this is so suitable for uh, a particular way of uh, you know player to player co-op uh, play styles 
this could really come in handy when we play uh, play against uh, real uh, real players because uh, no matter how much advanced you make the uh, ai uh, enemies it would never be able to match the abilities of a uh, real enemy real enemy based players right so i think i'm suggesting something uh, which can be worked upon if you guys you guys are the developers you you have been developing games for several years and more precisely i think compared to any other game so breakpoint had its own flaws and it still does have i think this game has much more uh, real potential to offer to the players because every now and then what i'm saying is many of the players are running away after completing all the sets of missions which you guys have provided and we really feel that we have nothing much to do anymore beside only playing the immersive mode that is turning off your hud elements and then going against the same regular enemies be it here in the classic modes classic story mode or be it in the motherland so yeah that's all for now i hope uh, you guys would be able to click on what i i i am saying here because uh, Sometimes I really feel that uh, this uh, all huge, humongous and beautiful uh, environments are just based and vain because once we complete the storyline, this story and whatever it is, it is done. It is done. We, we, we normally, we normally uh, you know, come back doing the same storyline or whatever it is until and unless any player wants to... Uh, create their own uh, play style or you know an immersive mode of uh, depicted story based uh, gameplay which also ge gets uh, which also gets very 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 monotonous uh, after a certain point of time so please 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 try to understand that that we, we, we can we can we can we can have that uh, player to player based uh, gameplay in this game too but it, 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 it has to come from your uh, from your developer and in order to make it happen and once it happens Destroyer! it is going to be really different really really different